Hey guys, it's Hunter. Today I'm gonna do just a quick review. Um, I got the first gen uh, BioLite stove as a gift. Uh, they just released the second gen, but I want to kind of do just a quick review and show you guys just how unbelievably efficient this stove is. Uh, if you can handle the two pounds total that it takes to put inside of your bag, which I can use when I'm camping. Um, especially if you're gonna carry MSR or pocket rocket or something like that, we have to have some fuel. Um, you're at two pounds anyways. So I'm trying to keep this quick. Um, side note, real quick, uh, for my birthday, my wife and kids, all three of them, got me a new pair of Limbs Boulder Boots. Um, you guys don't see it on this channel at all, but I am a shoe head. I've been collecting shoes for since I was the age of 13. So going on <laughs> 19 years? Yeah, something like that. Wow, I'm old. Um, yeah, so I have uh, about 70 something pairs of shoes. Each year I give about 10 pairs away. So this year I had a pair of Clarks that I ended up giving away and um, my wife got me these Boulder Boots. I want to show you real quick these Boulder Boots, the reason I got them, and I just waterproofed them so I'm not going to bend them up or anything, but these are minimalist boots. They can completely bend on themselves and pack into a dry sack. Um, leather with Cordura. Um, and I just put some waterproof on them, so that's what you're seeing here, the reason they're out here. So, Anyways, I just want to show you guys that briefly because I'm pretty stoked, uh, especially with the inside liners. I don't know if you guys see that we're kind of bright out here, but uh, they're, real, they're amazing. I wore them for the first time today. I got them last night for my birthday early, and uh, they're great. So, real quick, I want to talk about the uh, BioLite. This is Gen 1 that just released Gen 2. It's out on the market right here. So I'll pop this out real quick and show you what it looks like. Like I said, I got this as a gift, and so I'm not uh, balking at uh, the Gen 2. I kind of wanted it uh, when I saw it the other day, but this man, this thing is so stinking awesome. It's cool. So I'm going to show you real quick. All right, so everything packs up, first of all, inside of here, folds up. This whole kit weighs two pounds. Battery in here is what a lot of the weighs in the thermocoupler. Um, all fits inside of this little dry bag, right? So uh, now that you've seen that, I'm going to throw it together real quick and just show you just how quickly and efficiently you can start a fire. Um, I've got a Stanley cook pot out here of mine that is 42 or 44 ounces, maybe 44 ounces. Um, and I'm not going to... See, we'll try to get a good picture of this in a second when it's boiling anyways. Uh, I'm not going to cook all that water out. I just, I do want to see how fast it takes to boil. When you see how wild, um, I almost pressed that button, that was a quick release. When you see how wild this thing is, man, you're just gonna go nuts. It's really cool. So, let's see if I can zoom in. There we go. I'm gonna get out of the way. See if I can uh, get this whole piece in there without, ooh. There we go. All right, I want you guys to be able to see the flames. It is wild how cool this thing is. Let me back it out just a little bit. All right, so first of all, you know that the uh, Gym 1, just so you guys are aware, Gym 1 has two fan speeds. There's a battery built in. Uh, it comes with a camp light that you plug into the USB power here. Uh, and while the unit is generating through the thermo, um, it generates electricity. We'll actually charge your device. So, um, guys, what I've got here is just some um, <laughs> really wet, really wet. I'm talking about like we just had rain this morning. Um, my kindling pile, my split wood piles outside, um, and I do that on purpose. I'm okay with it staying in the elements. Um, so, anyways, I'm gonna break some of this up, and then I've got some other wood here. I've got some stuff from a, a tulip poplar I brought down. So not great wood, but I just want to show you how efficient this thing is real quick. And I'm gonna try to keep this video under about five minutes if I can. Just because it's a pain to upload anything more than five for just a quick video. So to show you how how wet this is, I can't even get it to snap. So I'm gonna get out a knife real quick. Um, guys, as you know too, I've been using a, um, a bushcraft knife lately. I really like it. I put it through its paces, I beat it, I've batoned it, I've done everything with it and still haven't sharpened it. This is a SEMA. I saw it on uh, Joe Robinette's channel. Uh, I saw it on um, the Dutch Bushcraft Knife channel where they just beat this thing together. I saw it for $20 prime on Amazon. Um, and I have literally have just beat the mess out of this thing. Batoned it, hammered it, thrown it, everything you can think of. I still have yet to need to sharpen it. I'll still do feather sticks. So uh, I'm gonna go over here real quick and Sharpen these guys up, break up these. Let's see if I can just. Yeah. All right, guys, now that we've talked about it a little bit, um, took that SEMA knife, 
I was mentioning earlier, um, just created some quick feather sticks. I don't know if we can get that to focus or not. I'd be impressed if we could. Let's see. Yeah, I got it zoomed in. Anyways, so created a quick feather stick. I'm gonna light it up real quick. Drop it inside. Put some of that wet wood in here that I was just telling you about. All right guys, so all I did was drop that feather stick in there um, and turn on the fan. As you can see, some stuff is starting to swirl out. Um, I told you I've got wet wood in there, but I have no no qualms thinking this thing will not spin it up. I think it'll do just that. So um, see if we can get this fire burning. Like I said, it won't take very long at all. It's very fast. There we go. So as you guys hopefully can see, we're starting to pull some stuff here. Now this is on the low setting. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna take some of this stuff I've got here, just gonna drop it on in there. This is a mixed media fire, so as long as it's got wood, it's gonna burn. Um, you guys can see how crazy fast this stuff is burning up. It is unbelievable. See if we can scale it down. I'm gonna turn it to low. So that was on high. 40 ounces of water, here we go. I wanted to let you guys see how well it's burning right here. It's burning great. So real quick, we're about two minutes and 30 seconds in. You can already see we're starting to get some bubbles. And this is 40, almost 40 ounces of water. So I'm gonna go ahead and step it up just because I wanna see how fast I can make it move. See how to switch it over to high, single button and the power button. Now, what you guys can't see, because it's daylight right now, is how insane this thing is going. It is just killing it. Alright. Go. Alright. About three minutes in, some change. Keep you uh, plugged in. I've had it on low for about the first two minutes and 30 seconds. And just stepped it up. Oh, there we go. All right, had our first bull out just now. Um, this is a cool Stanley, it's a, a Stanley pot. Just so you guys are aware, it's a 40 ounce Stanley. It's in pretty good shape. So. There you have it, man. I'm on low for about two and a half minutes. So I imagine if we could fill it with media, and I'm using some block pine that I've just got sitting around. Uh, but if you could fill it with media, you could probably run it on high uh, the minute you start it from a feather stick. And uh, you could probably boil water in like sub three minutes or close to it. I've got 40 ounces that took on low and high together, um, about 3.30. So there you go, guys. Hope this helps. Hope you enjoy this review.